No, it's, it's gonna it's gonna blur it out anyways, you know. You can have the Arabic if you want to. It's quietly simple. Allah says it Jannah I say in English. Allah never said Allah says explicitly in the Quran that enter Jannah according to your actions. He never mentioned your Muslims. He said to you, to every Ummah, to every Ummah, he said, أَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةَ تَبِيمَا كُنْتُمْ تَفْعَلُونَ He says, you will enter paradise according to your actions. According but to your actions. But this is what the Sikhs say, and this is what the Hindus say. So how are they wrong? Yeah. So, so you think an innocent person who never heard about Islam or, or never rejected Islam, He's gonna go to. He's gonna, never gonna go to. I Canada. have no idea what you think about that in Islam. We have an answer for this in Christianity. I don't Baba, know what you guys think. Everything that that verse of the Quran explicitly debunks everything you just stated. Okay, so that means that I'm not wrong when I say that Christ no, is Lord God. I'm not wrong. Different. That it's means different. I am right when I say Christ it's is different. Lord. It's different. It's different. If you have heard about the revelation of Islam. You have heard about the revelation of Islam and you rejected the message these are the only Christians and the non-Muslim are going to hell. Can you show me any verse or hadith that says what you just said? Because no what problem. you've given me is a tafsir. No problem. Can you show me? No problem. No, thank you. Appreciate no problem, it. brother. Appreciate it. Well, in accordance to Islam, anyways. I mean, that's very, very contradictory statements to say that the God that doesn't contradict himself revealed himself and, and revealed how to worship him and those who don't worship him or those who commit shirk wait wait those who commit shirk you saying the christians who commit shirk according to you are going to go to heaven as well that's very contradictory to your god uh, that was a thing. I, I mentioned that that shows reasons. that you are ignorant yeah just, just, just I, mentioned that. That. I, I know this one yeah, that that's that. not ignorance we know what we're talking about there are going to be christians what we're talking about right now however if they according to him it's possible if this christian and the jews Never heard about the message of, of Islam. Never, never seen, and, and never heard about is Islam. Here. These are yes, are going to heaven. Allah explicitly states so what, that you cannot if, go. Me as a Christian, if I've never no, heard about Islam, it's not what no, I said. No, no, we've heard about Islam. Let's look at, let's put it. It's your problem. Let's look at, for example, an example. Yeah, as an example, me as a Christian. If, yeah, I live, yeah, yeah, but, but, if I live in like, yeah, yeah, um, remains, where would I live? It's possible to be like, for example, a, a, in, a uh, in the um, Vatican City, and, and I never heard about yeah. Islam, am I going to nonsense. heaven? And I believe Jesus is God, am I going to heaven? Yes. Uh, not heaven, ah. it's not up to yeah. me, it's not up to me. But because from Allah, what Allah, is that fair God? From what Allah has revealed, Allah, Allah said the most, the, the worst crime or the worst thing you can commit is shirk. So if I'm a Christian, even if I am a this That's type of shirk. However, if it's yes, intentional exactly. shirk, if we are intentionally, I intentionally worship Christ, and I never heard about Islam. Intentionally worship Christ. I can't give you Am the I still answer. Going to heaven? Not to heaven. It's not up to me. Well, we it's can not up to we me. can know who it's up to. It's up to wait, Allah. Wait. We can know who's going to heaven. You know, according to what Allah has revealed. Allah said the the those who associate partners will not go to heaven. No. But you're saying no. I guess no, that no, it no, 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 no. You're gonna have to show the verse that you're what, what you're saying. If you are committing shit, but without knowing, that's a lot said for those who are those Your who disbelieve. Problem, the no problem is I can tell the, let's come to the start of Italy. If you have been worshipping Christ, but but you never heard that it's a blasphemy in Islam, then it's not up to me to judge whether you're going to hell or heaven. It's a I can tell that you are good. You're good. You're not going to hell. I can assure you that you're not going to hell. But Allah says, "Will enter heaven according to your actions, according show, show to your good." Me. Show me what he says. 
Well, then that's what the Sikhs already said. That's, yeah, that's what. Oh, so the Sikhs say. are correct. Yeah. If Allah says, if Allah says, they're part of. Part of if they're going to be a part of Jews and Christians, they're going to heaven, then I do believe if someone never heard like what he said, he's been worshipping Christ, he's been a Christian his whole life, he's been Christian his whole life, okay. I never heard about so Islam, most Christians, then I can tell he's going to heaven. Most, yes, most to Christians it. don't know anything, anything about, about Islam. Islam. Even in, the country, in this country, I, I, even I, in my church. I lived in, in, I li I live in Nigeria, right, no for like half my childhood. Nigeria is half Muslim. I have many Muslim friends. I didn't know check about Islam. Nothing. So basically, so you're, saying to, you're saying that most Christians are going to go to heaven. That's not most Christians. Now but, you heard about Islam. Okay, but I have, me. I have, right? But the majority of people who are Christians don't know squat about Islam. That, that in fact, is a favor to Allah. One second, let me show you how. <laughs> to commit let me show sure. you how. <laughs> Because since Allah's attribute is justice, Allah would never put a Christian or a Jew who never heard about Islam to put him on hell. Okay. That's not fair. So, quick question, quick question. If that's the case, why don't you go have kids when you're older and don't teach them anything about Islam? It's my fault. And it, no, no, listen. No, no. listen. Don't say anything about Islam anything. and instead teach them everything about Christianity and so then, that they'll go to heaven. Yeah. Because that seems like a that's that's the best way. Saying. That seems huh? like the best way. Why? Huh? Why? Because I love Christianity to them. Yeah, but it's fine. They'll go to heaven. No, but they'll go to heaven. Your children. No. Because That's you, you didn't tell them anything. But you just said it. it. That's not what I said. You, you said, said that, that Christians who don't know anything about Islam will not go the claim, to hell. The claim I said, that, look, the claim I said is if you never heard about Islam. So raise your kids with no Islam. Simple. Then I'm going to hell, bro. Why? Yeah, cool. Because but your kids I go to heaven, right? Blasphemy. Yeah, but it's fine. They'll go to heaven. You believe God has died. Even... You believe God is dependent. Wait, wait, wait. That is a fight for you your kids. Me? You yeah. want me? You I want want sacrifice me myself for Pakistan. You, you want me to teach my kids that? Yeah, yeah. So Are listen. Are you right, fam? Listen, listen. Have five kids. Teach them no Islam and only Christianity. Only Christianity. So then five All people will go, go to heaven. heaven. According to what you just said. You go to hell for a little bit. Yeah. So now, the Christian, the Christian, the Christian, they are blasphemous because of me. But they haven't heard about Islam, so they'll go to heaven. Why would I sacrifice myself when I can't just But they haven't heard about kids. Islam. Why, is, why don't you teach them Islam? Because if you teach them Islam, you can't guarantee that you're teaching the right Islam because it could be the wrong Islam. Mm -hmm. No, I'll make sure my kids study Islam really well. Yeah, but you don't know if that's the right Islam. Yeah, that's not the problem. Because here. You're telling me. No, the problem is, it says, it says, um, it says, uh, my nation, Muhammad said, my nation will split into 73 sects, one yeah, of which will be in paradise and 72 in hell. You cannot guarantee that you are on the right path. I'm sorry. You know what I'm talking about? What? Sunni and Shia. Um, 73 sects. I don't sex. think so. You're still one sect. How do you know Sunni is right? Yeah. How do you know Shia is right? Yeah. It, 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 it could be Ashari. It could be you know, Muhammad. It could be the Sufis or the Ibadis. So how do you know which one goes to heaven? Or the Jafari. I, but, but according to what you just said, Christians are guaranteed heaven because they don't know Islam, but the, the Muslims are ah. not. You know, but that's so what you just said. Me, you're telling me these people are not allowed to give da'wah because they're scared. Because they're scared, you know, if they're gonna enter Islam, right? No, I, no, that's I, not what I, we're saying. I'm telling you that no. you're wrong. That's not what you're saying. No. According to what you said, you said if a Christian never heard any, nothing about Islam, and he, that wait, wait, let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. That's what he's saying. Well, we're, we're holding to the position. I think he's wrong. Let me, let me finish. You said if a Christian never heard about Islam, right. yeah, no never heard a single word about Muhammad and all of that yet, and he was a Christian worshiping Christ, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, he's got, uh, it, it, according to Allah, he can get heaven, right? But if you're a Muslim, and according to the hadith you just read, there are 73 sectors and only one of you is going to go to um, uh, Jannah. So it's more harmful to teach them what about the Islam, sectors? right? What are the sectors? Is it Lord not? Knows. Would you not say? It seems more harmful to teach them about you Islam. You have the main branches. So you can verify. Then you have like the little ones. Yeah. So you have the Sunni and the Shia, but then you have like the... the according to what he said, like we're, we're talking about his argument. Yeah, but we like live in a society. That's his argument. It doesn't matter, sir. 
There's no matter. You got that I have people in my church. There's no single thing about Islam. There's no Islam. There's no Islam. There's no word Islam. There's no single thing about it. There is Islam in the north. So they're going to heaven, right? You guys don't believe what you're saying. So accordingly, I cannot give that word because there's a race that you're going to hell. That way, you guys have not decided if it's going to hell or heaven. That's not what we're saying. That Allah has mentioned. Yeah, why is, it on, why is your God very uncertain? Yeah. Christians go to heaven, polytheists go okay, to heaven. That's fine. As long as we all hold, so for example, here, here's the issue. Here's the issue, right? According to this hadith, right? Particularly this section down here, where Muhammad's talking, right? It says that Muhammad, Muhammad says, um, my nation will split into 73 sects. One of which will be in paradise yeah. and 72 will be in hell. So, how do you know your, your Akira is, you know is, is the right one? How do you know? Yeah, but so do but Muslims. So does other, other Akira. So, so even, even if, even if you all pray, apparently there will be people in this 72 who will pray the same thing as you are and still going to hell. How's that work? So how do you know yours is right? No. Do, do we all Christians say, go to heaven? Huh? Well, Catholics go to heaven. They, yes, we do. We believe Father, Son, Holy Spirit. We're all Christians. And the prophets don't have the same belief. This we, we believe all. This, this it doesn't matter. You know what's funny? You know what's funny about what you just said? Even in the Bible, there is sectors. The, the, um, let me finish. The children of Israel, there was 12 tribes, but God still allowed them to be Israelites, right? So in the Bible, we are allowed to have disagreements and and, and um, different tribes. But you, you're not because 70, 70 um, three sectors of Islam. Only one of them is gonna get to Jannah. My brother, what's your name? Shake your beauty. Shake your beauty. What I'm saying to you? Yeah? No, no, no. It's not his name. Whatever. That's what you said. It is. He's a chef, man. I'm a chef, man. That's fine. You can whatever you say. That's fine. Shake your beauty. Yeah. What I was gonna say to you is that what type of Christian are you? I'm a non-denominational Christian. I don't need to be in a part. I'm a part of the body of uh, the one body of Christ. So I'm part of the one that says the Lord will come to paradise. Well, that, that, how do you know? That, how do you know that's that? Different. How do you know? That's no, different. I say I'm a part of the body of Christ. Yeah. That's how also you part of you're part of the body of Christ. Because he confesses Catholics, Christ as, yeah. as being his Catholics, one Catholics, yeah. Orthodox, Protestants are part of one body, the body of Christ. What about all the other Christians? What other Christians? The others, the others. Mormons are Christians. Mormons are not Christians. Unitarians are not Christians. They're not Christians. It's a cult. God, forget about Allah. Forget about the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. So even if God not Christian. They, they call themselves seven days. I believe God is just not fair. That's one of Allah's attributes. We're doing like a cross conversation. I want to focus on one thing at a time. What I'm trying to make to you, yeah, is what you're highlighting as as an inconsistency with this. The only Christian that goes the only no, it's not. No, it's not. The the one, that but you them. to be a Christian, yeah. you just have to have the fundamental yeah, the Trinity. Jesus died on the cross sorry, and you rise. Uh, the the they don't believe in the Trinity. Okay, so this is They're not Christian. As far as they're concerned, you're not Christian. Okay, cool. They can say whatever. They're not Christian. So you're going to reject the message I sent you to Islam. But you know, you don't have problems with Christianity. All Christians go to heaven. They're not Christians. Because most Christians about you. They're not. I, 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 I say Islam. I'm a Christian. They, are, they don't. They say they're not Christians. No, I, 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 Let's focus on one conversation at a time. It's not. You made, you, made, you made no points there. You made absolutely no points there, sir. They are not Christians. What, what is the basic? What is the basic? I don't care what they say. What is the basic? I don't care what they say. What is the? Sir, sir, sir. I don't care what they say. Like Ahmadiyya say we are not Muslim. Yeah. Ahmadiyya say you're not Muslim. Exactly. So what's your exactly. point? Well, I don't care what they say. Is, Listen, I do not care what they say. Yeah, what is the basis of being a Christian? To follow, to follow the triune God. No, no, no. Yeah. The basis of being a Christian is to follow the triune God. To believe Christ out of the cross. Let me finish. According to the, the, to the Bible. Christians too? Yeah. No, no, no. They're not early Christians. They're very late. not early Christians. What day is the, seven, the holy day to the seventh day of Venice? So they hold that Saturday. What is their holy so day? they still observe the same holy day as, as the Jews, right? But the understanding. Why do they say it's Saturday? The, no, as the, as the Jews. 
But the problem here is that, that those beliefs come from like the 18th, 19th century. Christianity was around way before that. So in the same way that like, I don't know if... So then why do you report them? If you're going with the Old Testament, Because Christ also said that Bible was required. Okay, but you're saying... But you're saying that Bible says you can eat anything. So, yeah, but but so, but so but but very simply... Yeah, because um, it's divine revelation. Different co... Yeah. Progressive revelation. So different so covenants. No, 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 that's all right. Different covenants. Different covenants come at different times. The covenant, for example, with Noah... The argument is... According to what you said, understand, yes. No, 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 tell me what, what you think. Yes, so, so I have to point out what you said. But my argument was what you said. According to what you said, yeah. You know what I said? Tell me what you think. Please. The argument is, in according to what you said, yeah, that there were even Christians that have never heard um, the word Islam. Um, or the, I have no, never heard about um, um, Islam before are going to go to heaven. That's what you said. But according to the hadith that he pulled up, um, he, only one sect of, of Christians are going to go to heaven. One sect of the Jews are going to go to heaven. And even if, according to Muslims, what one sect of the 73 Mu um, Muslim sectors are going to go to heaven. So it seems, according to what you said, it's better for me to teach them, my children, about Christianity and not Islam than it is to me about Islam. Is it not? He's telling me yes. I can teach, I, I need to teach my kids Christianity. Yes, yes. According, to what, according to what you said. Yeah. According to what you said, yes. yes. I need. Yes. I, it's it's better off to. It's better. You don't need to, but it's so, better to. Listen, my friend. Like, 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 my friend. According to what he said, we're pointing out. Here's the logic. You, 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 my words. Logic. Logical reason just lies over their head. Number one. What are you saying? You know, like it's two different things. I, I look like I'm over Here's 40. Problem, yeah. right? Thank Number you. God bless you. You yeah. look very young, you sir. No, you look good for your age. The point I'm making, the reason why I'm saying that to you, know is that I'm progressing with a man around my same age. Heaven. This so, is a little youth. If you want to tell me, it doesn't matter. He's about 22. It doesn't matter. So go to heaven. I'm in my 20s as well. Teach them about it. We're the same age. Go to and know Islam. Alright, cool. Yo, you're serious. What year was you born? I ain't need to tell you this point. Just close any information to me. You're like 22. It's 35 plus. Okay. There's a difference between giving power and not knowing about Islam. Yes, so make sure your kids don't know about Islam so and oh, know about Christianity so that they can go to heaven. Oh, so we I don't, can't go to hell? Believers, we're not relatives. I can't go to hell. We don't know because if that's sacrifice. the case, listen, listen, a hundred years ago, wait, let's go about Islam, 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 so are they all going to heaven? We're not relatives. There's more. We're um, so your point doesn't stand. Please stop asking me. Brother! There's more. Because Brother, you're saying because we live more, in a, a society more. now. Yeah, so, 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 are you saying that about 200 years ago? Yeah, the of Islam, Islam. Please, you don't have a grand stand. Brother, Brother. Step one. Step one. Have about about five or six kids, right? Now, teach all your kids Christianity and know Islam, Amen. right? Cool. Now, all your kids get to go to heaven because they haven't heard about Islam. Now, for you, not to judge. Wait, wait, for you, you're gonna go to hell. But listen. Here's the trick. I like love, you said in the Hadith, oh, right? I love to take you out. After. Here's, here's, right? here's the trick, right? The trick. Make sure that your friends who are very pious and righteous and are sheikhs, make sure they remember you. So that when you're all resurrected and you get thrown in hell, they can go and say, Allah, but we prayed with him and fasted with him. And Allah will be like, I cool, go get him. Mm. And that's in, that's in the Hadith. That's yeah. in the Hadith. Yeah. Hadith. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with that? There you go. Yeah, that's he doesn't have a problem with it. What's wrong with that? And, and now you and all your kids go to heaven. Can bring you through. There you go. Yeah. Allah. So it's better to huh? teach them Christianity than Islam. And according to what you said, around for good Muslims, because they are guaranteed way, heaven by like Christianity and never hearing about Islam. But once you teach them about Islam, they don't know what sect is they're in. My bad, my bad, my bad. Please clarify. My bad. Yeah, yeah, but I would say as the father. What I meant by never heard of Islam is that no one approached them to. Okay, okay. Everyone in my church, everyone. My bad. My mistake. I'm a little Yeah, speak to me. Speak to me. Speak to me. I'm going to clarify something. My mistake, when I said if a Christian never heard. Oh, really? My mistake. Oh, really? I, I told you that. <laughs> see? See? I apologize. I apologize to my God for making this mistake. No problem. Do you know who Dave Chappelle is? It's not that type of Christian. It's the one who never had revelation. You understand? What? My bad. My bad. Maybe it means something else by the revelation. I'm gonna be crazy. What does that mean? What do you mean? My bad, bro. What do you mean? What do you mean by revelation? The type of Christian. The type of Christian. Go to heaven. You never got that one. That one. 
It's not the same day. problem applies. It's the same thing. No, no. Christians it's will no. never get dawah. It's no. Majority of Christians in my church we'll never, never get dawah. Never get dawah. It's the same problem applies. Are they going to heaven? Majority of the Christians in my church. Only two people in my church know Islam very well. Only two people in my church know Islam very well. Back. Come back. Not, not any Christian that has never heard of, that has never got da'wah of Islam. That's what you just said. Why are you backing up? go to heaven. That's what you just For said. Example, is Hitler going to hell or heaven? According to you, he's going to heaven. You just said. Because he never got da'wah. We never talked about it. not to kill innocent people, according to you. Well, according to you, yes. Hitler is going to heaven because he never got da'wah. We knew it was a place for us. Baba, I explicitly said, Allah says in the Quran that go to heaven according to your king. If you don't know Islam 100%, you're not going to enter heaven. That's the way he said though. Hitler didn't know Islam 100%. Hitler didn't know Islam 100%. Is he going to heaven? Hitler didn't know Islam 100%. Is it okay for him to kill him? He's going to kill him. Why? 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 He doesn't know Islam. He doesn't know Islam. No, 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 no. He doesn't know Islam. Bring back. Go back a little bit. You are listening, you are listening. A few minutes ago, and it, I said explicitly that Allah says, go to heaven according to, to your, your action. And I told you, and that's you what the sticks say. Hitler, and you think Hitler is okay for him? Well, to kill hold on, six million people. hold on, we hold don't on. Care. Wait, no, 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 no. Muhammad here's, also killed here's him. the problem, here's the problem. There's a hadith that says that the last day will not come until the Muslims kill the Jews and the Jews yeah, hide behind trees. The world, the world. So maybe Hitler read it and was like, okay. okay. I like that verse. I'm gonna do that. Anyone maybe afraid? Hitler read it and was actually upon the Sunnah. Mm -hmm. okay, so what does this say then? Read it out, bro. Hitler saw Nazism and Islam as natural allies, though he considered most of it uh, of the Practitioners. Okay. Exactly. Confucius, Confucius. What? Is Confucius going to heaven? He's, no, he's saying he, he didn't know about Islam. Okay, exactly. Confucius. 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 Is Confucius no, no, going to heaven? It says that he considered not. No. This is actually kind of crazy. It says he considered Nazism and Islam as natural allies. Yeah, in, ah. in, in, in hatred of But he's saying that he didn't know about Islam. That's what he said. So exactly. I, 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 that, I You're doubt, making your point worse, bro. Hitler you think he done something, then he didn't do anything. Dawa. Trust all, me. All I can, so my understanding with this, right, it had to get, I think it, 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 You guys come in, come in. He yeah. admired Islam for its perceived martial qualities and its contrast <laughs> to... Um, he's saying Islam and Nazism is the same right, thing. And, and its contrast to meek Christianity. Most importantly, Really? Most importantly, he hoped that Muslim subjects of his enemies, the British and the French empires and the Soviet Union, might uh, include, uh, sorry, uh, induce to rise up and wage jihad against their rulers. So really, Hitler, all he knew about Islam was that they fight. Yeah. And, and I, I want to use them to fight. Yeah. He so said Islam is, is, is that and Nazism is, 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 is the same thing. Is that Islam? He I mean, said he's saying Islam and Nazism is the same thing. So don't so bring up points that will destroy really you. It doesn't help you, bro. That doesn't really help you. That doesn't say he knew anything about Islam. He said he knew that they that fight. And that's it. Let's talk about Confucius. Confucius. I don't think knowing Confucius is Confucius going to heaven. Count is doing about Islam. All right, cool. If Hitler wanted to become a Muslim, then he would know he's not yeah, but allowed then he, to. He didn't know about Islam. Exactly. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't. He just he knew about the war mongering. That's, that's it. He doesn't know about Islam. Is, is that it? That's what they say. Huh? He doesn't know about Islam. What? What? There were Muslims in Europe. Uh, you know. You know what, man? You know what mistake I'm making here? What? It's giving a question. Salam alaikum. Am alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dawar and dash. That's what it is. Dawar and dash. Well, clearly he made a mistake here. Yeah, I know. But the problem still persists. <laughs> If supposedly there are sections of the Christian and Jewish Umar who will go to Islamic heaven, how does that work with the idea that number one, Christians apparently commit shirk? As it says in the Quran, for example, mm -hmm. don't say three, Allah is one God. Uh, don't, did I ask you to, to tell them to take uh, Allah and Mary and Isa as gods? All that good stuff, right? Yet, we still do these things and somehow a group of us can go to heaven. Go to heaven. Now, some might say, oh, it's the Unitarians, oh, it's X, Y, Z. 
very well. You can say that, but you need to prove it. Well, this gentleman decided to go with the idea that what actually is happening is that those who have not received revelation from Islam will go to heaven. Confucius is going to heaven. Um, and Buddha is going to heaven. Let's do this again. Oh, you're, you're back, you're back. Yeah, no. Okay. My, my question is... Oh, let me step this out because the camera is facing me. Now. My question now is, according to what you said before, yeah. Forget what I said. You, you want to do another topic? No, 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 no. It's not the same topic, but forget what I said. I don't want to forget cause because I, I, I wanna, I wanna you really hold a man to the... his words. According to what you said, how, uh, if second, you haven't heard about Islam, second, second. You still, do you still verify that if you haven't heard about Islam, one you second. still go to heaven? One huh? second, I'm seeing a, a brother getting a little too hyped. One second. Okay, now two. Okay, according to what you said, yeah, uh, you, can you verify that you said that if you haven't heard about Islam, there is a possibility that you go to heaven? There are two different. Well, so clarify your point again. Imagine if I live in, in a far country where Islam, where Islam doesn't even approach. Yeah. So what I'm saying, it's not up to me to judge whether they're going to hell or heaven. Because again, what I said is, Allah clearly states, Allah never said, you're Muslims, you're going to go to heaven accordingly to your deeds. He said, Anas. Only Anas is the Ummah. The Ummah is the entire humanity. Do you no, that's the Donya, not the Ummah. The, the Ummah is the Muslim community. The Donya is the entire world. Please, don't let me teach no, you Islam to debunk it. No, no. The Ummah is... The Ummah no, you know is relative to Muslims. The no, Donya is the world. No, that's not true. Yes, the it is. The Ummah is a nation. It's an Arabic land. So it's, a, it's an Arab nation. nation, right? So when no, you speak about the, the Ummah in, in the context, it's according to Islam. Okay, okay. okay. I'll let you finish your I'll let you finish. Bima kuntum means according to what, you, to what good you did. However, if I seen someone, if I seen someone that, if I seen someone that, um, one second, what are you going to okay. say? Let me, let me say, if I'm a Christian, Never heard about Islam. Trouble, wait, wait, wait. Never heard about Islam. But my good deeds, you said according to my deeds, I go to heaven. Yeah. My good deeds are over here. My bad deeds are over here. Exactly. Am I going to Jannah? Secondly, secondly. No, no, am I going to Jannah? That's my question. Yeah, logically, yes. So I'm going to Jannah even though I, I worship Christ, but my good deeds are, my bad deeds are here. My good deeds are here. Yes. I'm going to Jannah, right? Thank you. When, no, no, when no, David no, no, comes no. back, we'll verify that. No, but if I forgot what I said. If you have rejected the message, if you heard, if you heard any conversation about your question, whether a Christian or a non-Muslim is going to heaven, you, clear, you can clearly see in case you only in case if you have rejected the message. You understand? Uh, if you, if I, I, I gave you, I gave you the perfect scenario. I said I'm a, I'm a Christian. Never heard about Islam. My good deeds are over here. My bad deeds are over here. Never heard of Am Islam. I going to? Never heard of Islam. Never heard. Never got given dawah. I've heard of Islam. Didn't read a book. Never got given dawah. My good deeds are over here. My bad deeds are over here. Am I going to um, Jannah or Jahannam? Uh, not up to me to judge. It's not. You just said you. like I would damage my good deeds is what gets me to heaven, right? So my good deeds is what you said. But we get to according to your conditions. If someone, what is the condition for me to get to heaven? Yeah, if someone, if he never, if he rejected, I never said you heard about Islam. You, you can many hear. Many times, bro. Baba. Many times. No, Watch this video. Said. Remember Revelation 22, 13. Watch this video again. Baba, what I said, as a Christian, how you can go to hell or heaven is by rejecting the message of Islam. That's not how you started off. I understand what, that's what you're saying now. 
that's not how you started off. You said even if you've never heard the dawah, because essentially never hearing it. My bad, the same mistake. If you've never been given dawah. If you've never been given dawah, but you believe Christ is Lord and your good deeds is over here and your bad deeds over here, are you going to heaven? I don't know. I don't know. Then why do you defend the point then? Why you? Why is your God making you so unsure? Oh, because because I don't know. It's, it's up to you. you why doesn't God? Why doesn't Allah give you a clear answer? Brother, everything is, uh, is uh, God's attributes. Even if God's attributes is being fair. Um, is yes, it's, it's just. just. God is just. Just, yes. So, accordingly, am I allowed to punish you? Okay, let's just say one example. Am I allowed to punish you if you're, I don't know, committed a crime by mistake? Am I allowed to punish you? Like, I mean, yes, the, the, the court of the law punishes people for committing a crime by accident. If you if you um, are dri um, driving and you accidentally hit someone and you kill them, you get punishment for killing them. But my so you can't, wasn't to kill them. It doesn't matter. The judge is not going to look at your intention in the court of law. It does matter to me. It doesn't. Allah the, will never punish the, you for not knowing it is Islam, bro. Yes, you. Yes. You understand? Oh, words. You're giving me so much to work with. I just don't know what what point to to work with right now. Because you're giving me like. Oh, don't get confused. I'm not confused. Really you're just making it's a really lot of simple. blunders on Islam Quite that I'm trying to help you out. You know, I, you for me, you're a good friend, and I wouldn't want you to mis misrepresent Islam. And you've done that so many times today on camera. So many times. Even last time we spoke. So many times. You gotta go and learn your deen properly. Wow. That's why I have to teach you Islam, then debunk it. I know Islam more than you. I know Islam more than you. I'm a chef. I'm shaking beauty, man. You gotta shake your booty. Then why are you dancing? Because that's you know, what dancing is I came to shake the ummah. You know, I came you know, to shake you know. the ummah. I'm an I'm a English, I'm an I'm a original Quran only chef. The Quran that you don't have anymore. The Quran that has a go eating verses. Okay. The breast are clean okay. verses. Okay. The breast is the verses okay. of a rajab. Okay. I follow that Quran, not I understand you are Sheikh, but yeah. a fake one, no problem. I, I'm teaching you Islam. How? I'm teach I've taught you your own word today. Allah, to I told you, according to Islam, Allah is just. How is it just for someone that doesn't believe in God to be in his presence? It's like me wanting to enter your house. Yeah, I mean, you invited me into your house, and then I say I don't want to come. Can you force me into it? One second, one second. So, if Allah brings someone that doesn't believe in Islam into Jannah, they are technically in hell because they don't want to be there, right? I worship Lord Father, um, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. I don't want to be in your Jannah. And if I've never heard about Islam, Allah still God pushes me. Why is Allah care. forcing people into it? I don't care. Now you, may, I'm, I'm well, going along the points like that Jannah, you're talking about. I don't care if you don't like my channel. Allah says in the Quran that once you see it, you will now you will never want to come out. Trust me. Don't see that. No, again. I don't think so. If Jenna is giving me 72 um, um virgins to sleep with, I don't think I want a brothel. I don't want to be in a sex. You're not there are going to be no negative emotions in Islam. No negative, no stress, no disgust. But you get 72 no virgins. There is sexual desire, right? In Islam, yeah. in heaven. In Islam. What kind of heaven is that where you get sexual okay, desire? No problem. Let's just finish the where you sleep with 72 wives. I don't want that kind of heaven. In my heaven, God said, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, and, 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 and the young boys that don't bleed. Sure, what is the young boy? Whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not. Slave working for you. Brother, Brother, here. Whether you like it or not. Man's, I don't think I want to be man, in a brothel. Man's, man's, man's desires a woman. What, what about a woman's desire? Huh? What, do, what do the women get? They're not, they're not human. Huh? Hor al I'm not a woman, bro. No, well, the women in Islam, when they go no, to Jannah. No, Hor al I'm not humans. They are whores, but they are human beings. Whore. They are virgins. Yeah, Hor al Nelo, that's where we get the word whore from. The Persian word whore. They are, they are whores. Okay, okay, Why? Okay. And they got voluptuous breasts, is, right? My argument is. Voluptuous breasts, right? So my argument is. I don't know how many thousands. I don't know why. So one of the. Again, Allah's attributes is justice. Allah is just. God is just. So, so it wouldn't make sense. That's the say I'm making. It wouldn't make sense if you have been really good to your religion. You've been a really good person. You never, you never. Islam was never delivered to you, or never heard of. 
but it's not fair for God that because of that to put you on hell. We have a position. Also, Find me where it says also, that in the Quran. We have a position in Christ. Christianity. Also, I can't show you. It's all over the Quran. No, it's not. There, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. It's, there is nothing that says that. What the what? It says that according to Surah 9:29, it says, um, "Fight them for their disbelief." Why do you fight them? Oh, because of their disbelief in Allah. That's right. Another war. That's another story, bro. All right, cool. Not talking about. Let's war. put it in a scenario. Let's put it in a scenario. You know, before Muhammad. Wait, second, no, no, second, wait, wait, wait. The polytheists here, before Muhammad came to them, were well, they going to go to heaven? According to what you said, they don't know about Islam. It wouldn't be fair for Allah to punish them, right? So once the the Quran wasn't revealed, the polytheists of of Arabia are they all going to go to heaven? According to what you said. No. Why not? The polytheists. Yes. Or the Christians and the Jews as well. That never before Muhammad got. My question oh, is simple. simple. According to what he said, yeah, if you've never heard about Islam, Allah can no. still grant you, maybe can still grant you heaven. So I'm still asking, before the Quran was no, revealed no, to no, Muhammad, no, the, the polytheists, the Christians and the Jews, no, 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 that no, no, never no. understood Islam, are, are they going to go to heaven? Where are you going? I'm asking you the question. No, where are you going? I never I said, you said if under the, two terms. If you are, for a non-Muslim to go to heaven, for a non-Muslim to go to heaven, is under two terms. What are the two terms? If they have been, if the good deeds, if all the bad deeds. good deeds. Okay. Good yeah, deeds. and the second one is what you said. If they never heard been about given da'wah, okay. not heard. You've not been heard. given da'wah. All right, cool. You can still hear about Islam. You guys, Islam, I don't want to be, Islam, Islam, I don't want to go crazy here. Go you heard what he said. There are two reasons why you don't go, um, 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 there are two reasons given. No, no, given. no, there are two re okay, let me explain. There are two reasons how you can go to heaven according as a non-Muslim. As, as a non-Muslim. Non yeah, yeah. Well, is, the two reasons are, I don't want, I want to say it so that I don't, I don't misrepresent your point. The two reasons are, if you've never heard about Islam or been given a, a dawah, you've never, you're never given dawah. dawah. You've, been you've never been given dawah. And your second position was, if you what was your second position again? If, your good deeds. Let's say I was a Christian, at 500 um, AD, before Muhammad, I'm a Christian that believed Father, Son, Holy Spirit. And my good deeds, wait, 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 wait. I am a Muslim at 500 AD before Muhammad. My good deeds are over here. Yeah, my bad deeds are over here. And I've never heard about the Quran. And I've never heard about, it, about Islam. Then am I going to heaven? No, you did the one big mistake here. Islam, Islam, Islam never started with Muhammad. It started with Adam. Okay, okay, cool. The first revelation Let, I, I was, still, was with Abraham. Where is the? Okay, cool. Let me, I will still hold on to your point. First, the first okay, human. Okay, cool, cool. Don't name me names. Given Don't name me names. I know what you what you Adam. mean by that. Okay, you said. But you decided oh to ignore it, bro. You I'm not ignoring it. it. You're, oh. you're you're throwing other other things that are not relevant. I'm a I'm a I'm a first. I'm a, I'm a Christian in the fifth century before Muhammad. Yeah. Why about for Muhammad? Me, because according to I'm bringing an analogy, and according to what you said, can I finish my analogy? I'm a Muslim, I'm a Christian in Arabia before Muhammad. Not been given dawah, and I have great good deeds. Those are the two things that he said. He said yourself that if you don't, if you don't have, and you're a non-Muslim, you can get to heaven. I've not been given dawah, and I do great good deeds. Yeah. I'm, and um, the. The books in the past have been corrupted and lost, and I don't read them. No, Am I going to no, go no, to no. heaven? No. Another mistake here. Islam, the, the Quran never states that the books of Allah, because it's the word of God, they have never been so, corrupted. So this they hasn't are, been what corrupted. Happened, no, never. I don't don't like, where do I get? It says that there were there were books that have been written by anonymous people and claims to be God. That's what Islam okay, where says. It, okay. Now it's done. How would I get dawah before Muhammad? How would I get dawah before Muhammad? Before Muhammad comes? By prophets. Allah, what prophet? There the was no prophet in the 5th century. What? There was no prophet in the 5th century. What are you talking about? What prophet are you talking about? Bro, Islam, Islam started with the humanity, bro. Oh my gosh, no, bro, Adam. stop playing, stop playing your script. Let's talk about the text. You said, you said the only way I can get to heaven as a non-Muslim is if I've never heard about Islam or the deen and I, I have great good deeds. And I'm saying, prior to Muhammad, I'm a polytheist or a Christian. Where would I get my text from for me to know what Islam is? Where would I get it from? Well, did you know that previous scriptures, they all claim one thing, which is... Where is their text? Where is their the text? Hate. Where is it? And also, I have a hadith 
In fact, oh you can check it. Baba, it's relevant, bro. It's relevant. If you're not happy to have a conversation, then, brother, I'm sorry to tell you, but you need to have a better listening skills. I don't think you understand what your the points you're no, making. No, 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 no. I never state. You see, you're making up. You're making up state statement. You're making up. All right. Let's start. Let's start Islam, from the foundation. Islam. First of all, Islam never started with Muhammad, but started don't with care Adam. About that. Christianity never started with Jesus Christ. You don't care becoming a Muslim Adam. then. Don't care about that. Let's talk about 5th century. Yeah. The 5th century Islam still oh my existed, gosh. bro. Look at you. Okay, where would, I get my, where would I get my dawah from in the 5th century? By prophet. What prophet? Adam started with Adam. Where's his book? Huh? Where's his book? No, he never. Because I never met. I would have never met. Where's his book? They're not all preserved. Not all books are going to be preserved. Exactly. Hey, I went, you don't need a book. You don't know you don't what we're talking about. Honestly, please listen first before you interject. Okay, you don't know what we're talking about. We're talking about something else. We're talking about, we're talking about okay, something else. Is, my question is, do you believe there were any prophets that never had a book? Yes. The Bible has only is the religion that has no Bible. The Bible was revealed after Jesus. So according to you, how am I going to become a Christian? Let me tell you the answer. It's very simple. By the prophets of God. Islam first of all started with Adam. How Islam started? You don't even know the How concept do I follow? of Islam. I, I do know the concept. The, I know the, Islam, the fallacies Islam? you got play. That you keep what's pointing Islam? on people what's that... Islam? The main pillar of Islam, what is it? It's to believe that none world of worship. Adam was the first one. The first human ever. I worship only one God. Am I, am I, am I no, a don't. Muslim? No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. I have one no, God. You you believe How the can father, you tell me what I do? The Son, the Holy yes, Spirit. One body. That Three persons. You understand that? They, let me. I don't. I, maybe I want to be. I want to be objective. You understand between the the, the difference between. Okay, what's the wait, 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 wait. You understand? You're not on camera, by the way. You understand the difference between a body and a person, right? Yeah. The person is what is in the body. The body is what holds the person, right? If I say the body of God or the essence of God is one, I worship one God. But in that one God, there is three persons. Then, Let me finish. Then, there is three persons. Yeah. Am I am I a polytheist or a monotheist? Oh, no, 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 do no, I worship no. one God or okay, three gods? My question, my question. My one question. God. Thank you. My Why question. is it so hard for you to understand? My question. If the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit are dependent on each other, that there cannot be God. God does not depend on anyone. There is still one God. The three persons Jesus. do not depend on anyone. It's still one God. Well, what about when God was a baby? Bro, Jesus, Jesus, you don't know what you're talking Jesus, about. Jesus, Jesus, you don't know what you're talking about. Please. I'm yeah, talking, you A and B conversation, see yourself out. A and B conversation, see yourself out. I'm going to end out of this. I don't know why you want to ask reason, bro. If, Simple you question. Got Jesus, the fully divine God. We are talking about if fifth century. God, if you believe God has We are has talking about the body. fifth century. Let's go back to my point. The fifth century, I am a Christian on, in the fifth century. And according to what you said, for a non-believer, I don't care about what the... Okay, I'm a... I'm a... I'm a... I'm a what, what did I say? I'm a Zoroastrian in the 5th century and I've never heard about Christianity, Islam or um, Judaism. Let me, let me finish, let me, let me finish. You said that the only way for a non-believer to get to heaven, yeah, to Jannah, is his deeds and if he's never heard, had um, received dawah. If I'm a Zoroastrian in the 5th century, before Muhammad came, am I going to go to heaven according to what you said? Well, Muhammad wasn't the first prophet. Muhammad wasn't the prophet. But I, I am not... Oh my gosh. I'm, okay. Baba, Islam, I'm whether a, you like I'm it or not, I'm not making the question whether, so hard. Whether you like it or not, Islam started with Adam. I don't care. My See, question is... He doesn't even care. Uh, maybe, sister, I, I, I would appreciate no, 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 your, no, no, an objective no, 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 view. Because I don't think he understands what I'm talking about. His question, don't, my question don't, is... You don't, you don't. My question, don't. he's saying here, yeah, as a non-believer, as a non-Muslim, yeah, the only way you can get to Jannah is by your deeds and if you've never been if you never received dawah and i told him before muhammad came to the scene yeah in the fifth century Why? i'm a zoroastrian Why? yeah let me bro can i ask you a question if, if before muhammad enters the scene and i'm a zoroastrian i don't know the abrahamic gods yeah and i have my good deeds are over here my bad deeds are over here am i going to go to jannah in accordance to what he said but did you believe in god or not i believe in um, my um, um, Zarafustra, Zarafustra, which is the zoroastrian god is a Zoroastrian god, but is a Zoroastrian prophet. So your question, if is like, if there was no religions at all, and you were doing a good deeds, are you gonna go to Jannah? Is that your question? No, I'm. Yes. Let me let me yes, break down yes, the points. Yes, the yeah? two points, sorry, bro. The two points he said for a non-Muslim, yeah, to get to Jannah, yeah, yeah is 
if they've never been, if they've never received dawah, as in never um, been uh, heard about Islam, yeah. and if their good deeds are um, up the scale. And I said, as a Zoroastrian or a, a polytheist before Muhammad comes, yeah, I've never received that, but my, I have great good deeds. Am I going to go to heaven in accordance to him? But how now did you, you ran receive away. the religion that you are on now? No, no, no. Huh? How did you get the religion that you are on? Or what, my this? family line. Okay, right. So I'm born into it. What is the religion? What is it? What, what do you? It's worship? a pagan belief um, religion. Was she picking? No, you know, I gave him an analogy for a reason. Yeah, because yeah. he was trying to appeal to the Abrahamic gods. But the human nature itself is, believes actually in one god. Yes. Born, actually, born, Hindus believe yeah. in one god. So it, even demons believe in one god. So it doesn't make you a worthy worshiper. But in accordance to how he said, I can go to heaven. I, 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 maybe I, I feel like I'm saying the same thing over and over again. Why, why in accordance to how he said, yeah, bro, do you want to come back? In accordance to how he said I can get to heaven as a non-Muslim, he said two criteria: If I've never received dawah and if I have great de good deeds. And I've given him a scenario where I've never received dawah and I have amazing good deeds. Am I going to go to heaven in accordance to what you said? So, it depends if you believe judge. in one God. I can't judge you. I do well, believe in one God. Uh, okay, uh, Zara, um, uh, Aru, Aru, uh, but, the th but the thing is, where's Cyrus, man? I need to but find. But the thing is, Hindus will say they believe in one God. Yes. Uh, Christians will say they believe, believe in one God. God yes. But if their monotheism is flawed, it's against what the natural inclination. But is But they say they believe in one God. They do believe in one God, right? They say they believe in one God. Okay, I can insult them. I can say you don't believe in one God. And I can actually prove it. It's not. I can actually prove that you don't believe in one God. If I say that I believe in. But let's deal with my argument. You say the two criteria. I keep repeating myself because you're not dealing with my question. You said, what? Okay, let's let's start again. What are the two criteria for a non-Muslim to get to heaven, to get to Jannah? You know what? You know what? What are they? It's just not worth time, bro. What are they? Because I don't want to. Because I don't want you guys to. You didn't know. No, ask him. Ask him. What are the two no. um, criteria? It's a simple like, answer. What are, what are they? All right. You believe in one, God, one God. Yeah. In one Mother. God without associating any partners, and you weren't given the message of Islam in a coherent way. Okay. So those are the um, two conditions. Zoroastri Zoroastrianism so, hey, so was a, okay. so yeah. Zoroastrianism was the first monotheistic religion. How do you know that for sure? Uh, because no, no, that's, that's no, no. Islam became from the time before of Judaism. Islam became uh, came at the time of Adam. Okay. If you guys want to claim that, if you want, guys want to claim that, whatever. But Zoroastrianism, it, they believe in one God. Monotheism. Wait, well, wait. Zoroastrianism, believe in one God. And if I was a Zoroastrian in the fifth century and I have great good deeds, am I going to heaven? To be honest, to I don't know the ins and outs of Zoroastrianism. But it, it, if, if I believe was, in one God. If believe in one God. No, 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 no. That, That's not enough because you can say you believe in one God, but Christians say they believe in one God. Yeah, they believe in a Trinity. So, that, that so, so, shit. so you're then verifying that. You, you need dawah for you to go to Jannah, no, right? In, in order to believe in one God, that's your natural inclination. You don't need no one to tell you. There's even an Oxford study, even babies that grow up, yeah, they believe in one God. Have Remember the in, a great, in a creator, that's called your fitter that's, in that's, Islam. That's not true. That's called your babies, well, babies, are, babies are a clean slate. There was like one, 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 one million pound, there was an uh, investment in it. It was a study, you can look at it. Well, by default, they're Muslim, because that's what a Muslim does, isn't it? Submits his will to his you some, yeah. Yeah, no, Babies are a clean slate, they don't know anything. That's not true. Okay, not when, not, not when you're a baby like that, I'm saying when you grow up. As a child, your natural inclination is to believe in the supernatural. Yes. And your natural but inclination, does it, does your logic it, is going to tell you, yeah, there is a creator, there's God. Yes, he, but your natural inclination does not. No, your natural inclination does not lead you to one God. Oh, it, it doesn't. doesn't. It does. Because if that was the case, before any of the prophets, all of the pagans would also believe in one God. No, Everyone would believe in one God. No, 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 because, Why do they believe in many gods? Because you can have a pagan then grows up believing in a goddess of Moses. In a goddess of Moses. Guys, one person at a time, please. One person at a time. I've got an answer for what you said. So you said that, oh yeah, but people grow up, they become Jews, they become pagans and whatnot. That's because society and your parents, where you grow up, affects you. But your natural inclination, unclouded by society, you will believe among God. Are you saying that if I, if you leave a baby in the desert um, with enough food to survive for about 10, um, 10 to 15 years, as soon as it comes out when he's 15, please, finish please. Point, finish point. Yeah. Are you saying if you give a, um, a, a baby enough um, food to survive for um, about 15 years and, um, and no words, nothing, when he comes out 15 years later, he's going to believe that, okay, yes, there is definitely one God. He'll believe in a creator, absolutely, yeah. He'll believe he, there's he a creator, be but doesn't mean that he's one, it's one God. Okay, it I'm will. just going to yes. finish. So na naturally, gonna he will. Finish. Unless no, he's no. some sort of society. Because Hindus also finish. grew up 
without me the message of one okay. God. They believe in multiple gods. I'm going to finish I mean, the whole to, to, be, to be honest with you, you can look into the Oxford study. There's, 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 you guys, the oh, arguments are... Just, you guys honest. live where, where, on fallacies. Where did you you say guys live on fallacies. Okay, so where, 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 where did you get that from? No, no. It is yeah. a logical fallacy. Where, where did you get it from that he could believe in multiple gods? Where did you get that from? What's your evidence? Because... For being false. As I'm growing up, yeah, just like the first one of uh, the first religions, like Hinduism, mm -hmm. Hinduism actually um, speaks to the nature of man. We start to see these um, um, these things that we can't understand it. We start to like, look at the sun, we can't understand it. We, we then worship the sun. We look at the moon, we don't understand it. We then worship the moon. That's, that's not natural inclination. That's you look, you look in your environment and you start to worship that's it. From that's what happens. No, that's what happens. I'm gonna end this whole conversation. Okay, Allah, 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 in one hadith, Wallahi, Wallahi, I've heard of the hadith, Allah says, if you, if you have, if you, in your entire life, if you have never, never associated God with anyone, then Wallahi, you are guaranteed heaven. Well, that debunks what you said before. How? No, but we still gotta have, you still, as a Christian, that debunks what you said still, before. You, you, said, you said, if I've never been given the, the, the deen, I've no, never no, been no, given, no, received dawah, no, no, and, and I have great good deeds, then I go into heaven. That debunks things. what you said before. Allah, the, Allah says two things, my bad. Allah first. I would like to speak to you at some point, you know, about, you know, after this conversation, no. we'll have like no, 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 a nice no. conversation. Allah yeah, firstly yeah, okay. states, we'll write this up. Allah okay. says, Muhammad says, if you have never, ever in your life, have associated partners with Allah, then you are guaranteed heaven. Secondly, Allah explicitly says in the Quran, man, everyone who claims that God is free in one, no, it says then free, you have not free in one. It says free. Because Allah, Allah doesn't know Allah, what the Trinity is. It says free. How do you know the Trinity is right? How do you the know the, is true. The, Trini the Trinity hasn't changed throughout the years? The Trinity has a tree. It's, it's the same as the Bible it's never, says. It's never been it's the, the same Trinity. as the Bible says. It's not. It's, it's not. the same as the Bible says. How do you know the Bible is authentic? It's not. You well, can't um, Matthew 28. You, how do you know your Quran is authentic? You yeah, can't prove it. Because it has miracles. It's you the truth. Miracles. It's the word hey, of God. Don't, don't appeal to God of the Gap. No, 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 no. Um, evidence. No. Yes, it is God of the Gap. He said miracles. That's God of the Gap. Please, okay. halas. Halas, 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 halas. Halas, halas. Allah first states, if you never associate your partner with Allah, then Allah, you're guaranteed heaven. Okay. Secondly, Allah yeah. says, if you you're, say you are, there is God. You're rounding up at this point because I've, I've shouted one, secular reasons. Then you are a kafir. If okay. you say, stay to Allah. It says you are three, not three or one. Okay, cool. God bless you, though. But to, be, to, be honest, to be honest, we should go back to the foundation because we're That's talking about other minor God bless you, issues. Sir. Talk, about God. Talk about God. God bless you. You've, you know, you've no, rounded it up now. I'm kind of done with like repeating the same questions no, 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 over no, no, and over no. again. Okay, I'm done. Okay, God bless you. God bless you guys. I would like to. You don't want. You don't want to shake my hand. No, I'm asking. Are you wrapping it up? Yes, I am. I'm wrapping it up because I'm. I've been repeating the same questions. I'm done. God bless you, sir. God bless you. I would like to speak to the sister because she's she's trying to go. Let me just repeat. I want to speak to her as off camera. Let me repeat one more thing. Okay. Round up. If you if you what you stated, you you are a non-Muslim. You've been doing a good deed. It wouldn't, I can't, I'm going to fix my argument, my bad, it was a big mistake for me. My, it wouldn't make sense if anyone never revealed revelation, never heard, never got a da'wah, and his good deeds are above his bad deeds, then it wouldn't make sense for that innocent person to go to hell. That's my argument. Forget everything I said. So that I person is going to go to heaven, right? If they don't go to hell, they're going to go to hell. general, right? No, 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 they're still going to be attached in Yom Qiyamah for the Christian who they never heard about Islam. You can search it. What is, uh, this life is the test. What is the extra test that you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's for those who never who never heard, even heard about Islam. Allah is going to give them a test in Yom Qiyamah, a specific test, where it's their choice to, to decide where, where, to where, become a Muslim or uh, not. Is it where it says, who is your Lord, who is your Prophet? No, no, it's not okay. a problem. We're done now, you've rounded up. No, no, God no, bless no. you. Let me tell you okay. If it's a God is please, in one, please, let the woman God, is, God is in free, then Allah has okay. explicitly stated that you are a kafir if you okay. say so. Thank Secondly, you very much. Allah stated if you never associate a partner with Allah, which, which what Christianity is doing by now, yeah. associating partners, then Wallah, you are guaranteed heaven. Okay, 100%. thank you very much. God bless you. Have a nice day. If I said Allah is the only God, there's no Jesus God. Thank you. And Muhammad is not God. No one is God, then thank I'm guaranteed you. heaven. Thank you. Thank you. God bless Bless you, man. Yeah, so basically, you know, there's prophets that have not been like mentioned in any religions, and they said in the Quran that there is prophets that came yeah. in the before the times that the religions were revealed yeah. to say that worship no God except Allah. 
it was like thousands of prophets that okay. have never been mentioned. Would you consider like, Zarathustra to be one of them? Sorry? Would you consider Zara, Zarathustra? What do you believe in? Yeah. What do you believe in? I'll now tell you. No, no, no. Tell me, what do you believe? What's, what for me, I'm believe? a Christian, but then I'm, I'm, I'm choosing to argue for uh, uh, one of your, one of your supposing prophets. I want to see if one of these guys are your prophets. You know, Zarathustra is. Um, Zarathustra. He's a. You know the religion of Zoroastrianism. No, never, never you know. Do you know Freddie Mercury? You know the one that says um, um, Indian guy that, that was in that was in Queen's house. Yeah. So his religion is Zoroastrianism. They are they are monotheists. They worship one god, and they had a prophet called called Zarathustra. Is he one of the prophets that Allah revealed? What was his pro what's the prophet's name? Zarathustra. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. No. Well, he, she just said, she just said, um, um, there are many prophets that are not mentioned. There you know, are many. Uh, yeah. So Zarathustra appealing to worshiping only one God, would he be a prophet of Islam? Do you know what is Islam? You don't know. Okay. Then, then what? What is the point of of, of the argument? But, uh, let me tell you something. That's why all the religions came to say at the end that there's no God worthy of worship except one God, which is Allah. This is why the religions came because Allah, the God, knew that there is like it's going to be a lot of contradictions and people will misguide their way. That's why He sent all the messages to say, Worship me, I'm your God. Well, I'm Nigerian, yeah. yeah. What messenger was sent to me, if you know? What message was sent to you? Yeah, be be before Islam, what messenger yeah, was sent to you? It doesn't matter where you're from, it matters. The only <laughs> thing that matters is what is your belief? Do you believe that there's no God? Look around. Do you think I'm, that this is I'm a, okay. a human? I'm a Nigerian that is a monotheist. I don't know how to identify my, my God. I don't have any name to him. I call him Oluwa Olodumare. Yeah, that's have the you name that given that one? No, she I said it. No, sorry, I'm sorry. You. I know what you're saying, but have you yeah. been given that one? I want to focus on her point. She said all of um, um, many countries, all of their countries, even prior to Islam, all of them were given prophets, and Muhammad was the last one. Yeah. I want to know what prophet to came to Nigeria. Time, yeah, to what what prophet came? What prophet came to give dawah to Nigeria before Muhammad? Depends on what. It depends on what. Because Nigeria is a new country, no? It's not. But it's, the people over there are still going to be there, region. right? The people the are still going to be there, right? Yeah. The people in Africa are still going to be there, right? So they would have a prophet to go to them, right? Who was the prophet that spoke to the Africans? There would have been several. Well, all, name me all, one. It's all down to name me one. Jesus and Muhammad. Jesus never went to Africa. Huh? Africa Jesus never went to Africa. It's not about the prophet coming no, to every says, single country. The Quran, says, the Quran says we sell, um, 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 they send messengers to every nation. Just like yeah, Zulkornai. Oh, am I right, right? Just yeah, like yeah, Zulkornai. Yeah, it's the people of that time. Okay, cool. Who was the, peop um, the people in, the West, in West Africa? Who was their prophet? Oh, I'm not West African. I, wasn't I know. I wasn't around. But it is time. your theological claim. So your burden All of cricket is on you. you was the message of Islam. No, 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 let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam as well. And all the prophets, they used to send messengers. messengers. He was sent to the Arabians, not to the world. No, 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 to the world. He was they sent to the Arabians. Even the message came over was the message He was only sent to the Arabians. You know why he was sent to the Arabians? Because the Quran claims that. Um, they, they said that we've never received a messenger in our language. So Allah sent them a prophet. So Muhammad was only sent to the Arabians and the Quran was only written in Arabic because it was for the people that asked for a religion, right? So Muhammad is a, 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 Muhammad is a prophet for the Arabs only, right? So so according, come on man, don't lie on the Quran, man. That's what the Quran says. It wasn't just for the Arabs. It was just for the Arabs. No, it wasn't. It doesn't say it was it's just, just for the Arabs. No, no, no. Show me where it says this religion is just for the Arabs. This is for all the people. It says Muhammad is the first to be a Muslim amongst you. That doesn't say this, this religion is just for the Arabs. This is not for only Arabs. This is, that's why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi used to send messengers all around the world. Tell hey, them who, who do not worship God except Allah. And there's no God worthy of worship except Allah. Yeah, you're Allah. going off a script. You're not, doing, you're not giving anything subsistence. I need, I need something with more substance than that. You're going off a script. I already know these parts. But you made a claim that all countries before the last prophet were given a messenger. Who was the messenger that was even given to Yemen? Can I ask that? 
if I could respond um, in the Quran, as they have already said. I, I believe the Quran has uh, revealed 25 names of prophets, right? There are 25 prophets are revealed. No, it only revealed six. Not six. In the Quran, yeah. there are 25. Musa, Musa, Yahya, um, Dawood, um, uh, I, I, sorry? Okay. I, I think six is wrong. Maybe, 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 I'm, maybe I'm wrong. But I'm quite certain it's 25. Uh, I could be wrong. But the Quran, as she said, also does say there were much more than 25. There could yes. have been hundreds of That's what I'm asking. For. That's yes, what yes. I'm asking. But, but of what has been revealed, of what we know, only 25. Beyond the 25, we don't know. Okay, we cool. know they could have existed, but we just don't know who they are, where they existed. Okay, cool. So to answer your question about who was the prophet of Nigeria, we don't know. The, okay, cool. Yeah, that's okay, but well, there, there must be some historical account of the Nigerians worshipping one god, right? Right before Christianity came in, there's no evidence of Nigerians worshipping one god. Say, say that again. So if Allah sent a prophet to Nigeria, but we don't know who it is, Allahu Alam, there must be a historical account of the Nigerians worshipping one god. Does that mean right? you've got to send one to Sierra Leone? Uh, uh, what's the, what's yeah, who is the prophet off? to them? Who is the prophet to them? No, but who is listen, the prophet to them? The prophets were sent down at certain times. That message until the next prophet would have would been revealed to us. Who is the prophet the to them? Who knows? And why do we not have any the historical people accounts? in Nigeria would have heard about Christianity. They would have heard about Islam. I'm they talking about prior to even Christianity. There would have been a prophet sent to the Nigerians, what was right? was the religion before it, prior? They had. Huh? Judaism, wasn't it? Judaism, but that's for the Jews, right? For the Beni Israel, right? Israel, right? That was Beni Israel, right? Yes. So yes. not for the Nigerians, right? No, it wasn't. So for who the was the prophet for the Nigerians? I don't know. I'm not Nigerian. Exactly. So, so that, you got you're arguing anything. out of silence. It doesn't prove anything. The main thing, the main thing. It doesn't prove anything. Allah is not about religions, but now, right now, what year we're on now? What year? 2024, right? Yeah. Now, what's your belief? Um, AD. Sorry. 2024 AD. Yeah. So now, basically, like, what's your belief right now? We are like right now in Nigeria in the back days, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Christians and Islam. Yeah, we don't know because Allah only knows what happened and He told us, you don't need to know except yani, that there's no God worthy of worship except Allah. And I've sent messengers all around the timings from Adam that He was, you know, what's the meaning of Islam? I submit the meaning of Islam is not a religion. Don't go there because I will press down on the meaning very hard. Yeah, don't go there. The meaning, the meaning is Islam. I submit Submit my will to, the, to Allah that I believe that there's no God to so Allah or to God? To Allah. To Allah. Allah is God. But in Arabic language, okay. it's called Allah. Okay. If I, if guys, 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 please, please, guys. If I'm a, if I'm a Arabian, uh, Serbian, oh yeah, or uh, Sabian, and I and I create a rock, and I say, I using the word Allah, I say this rock is my Allah, and I bow down and submit my will to it. Am I a Muslim? No. The only so, God. so, but what about, what about, no, 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 no. that rock is my only God, though. Prove it. I'm giving, I'm giving you a scenario. No, but to, you know, I'm, look at I'm, scenario. I'm not saying you believe that the rock so, is God. But that's the thing. That's the part. Proof. The exactly. the proof is that's, on you. You're saying the rock's that's God. That's the part. You're saying the rock's God. That's the part. You saying a Muslim is someone that submits their will to God. If I say this rock is my God, by your definition, I'm a Muslim. But now you're constantly asking for a proof. The that's God never that's made claim God. That's specifying. Allah never made claim he's God. Yes, he did. It's just a so, book that wrote it. A, someone wrote it in a book and you read it. Allah never made claim he was God. What do you believe? I'm a Christian. You can see it from, from But your book says that a load of different stuff. Why do you believe it? Yeah. I believe it because, uh, because it, there's evidence. There's prophecy, evidence in the Quran. Prophecy of ev um, okay, there's evidence in the Quran. What, evidence of God. What is, what is the evidence that God can provide you? Okay, there's what, what is the type of evidence God can provide you to show you to show you that he is God? Let me tell you, let me tell you. In Surah Al-Duha, Al-Duha, Wal-Layli Ida Sajjah, Mawadda'u, okay, wait, wait, wait. In Surah, uh, there is one verse that says that there is a star, uh, this is a Najm al Thaqib. This is a verse in the Quran, a clear verse from 1400 years ago. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned in the Quran that there is a star that goes around and it is like a knocking sound. 
I'm knocking sound. Don't do that. Yeah, right? No, don't do that. No, no, no. Because they don't make sounds. They, they, you know how the science is tracking. The, even, yes. even the scholars right now. Please don't, <laughs> don't, please don't do that. No, the, the sound, yeah, but it's like a pulse. Pulse sounds. Like yes, but yeah, like sound star like doesn't. Sound. The star does. What, what did they use to, to test if it was making the sound? It was the machine that was receiving the, the, uh, the signal that was making the sound, video, not the star. The star doesn't the make the sound. We've already, we've already debunked that argument. Please don't go there. A that is not a miracle. That is not a miracle. Of, of Can you name me another one? There is another miracle. Name me another one. Um, Have you read Surah Al-Baqarah? Uh, the second chapter. Of the I've Quran. read a um, majority of it. Yes, I read here and there. Uh, would you read it now, out loud to us? First ten what verses. Do you mean? First ten verses. I, I don't need to read it. What, what, what are you trying to? What, what is? What I would are you like trying to you to read it just to understand? Read it. What have you got to lose? And this book is not. Um, and this, this is the book. There is no doubt about it. A guidance for those mindful of Allah, who believe in the unseen, establish prayer and donate from what we have um, provided them. And those, and who believes in what has been revealed to you, O Prophet, that's in brackets, and what um revealed before you, and what have, uh, and have um, sure faith in the year after. I'm dyslexic, so I have to slow down. Yeah. It is what? Take time. It is they who are truly guided by their Lord, and it is they who um, will be successful. As uh, as of those who um, persist in, dis in disbelief, they, uh, it is the same for whether you warn them or not. They will, not, they will never believe. Allah has sealed their faith in uh, in their hearing and their sight uh, is their, um, their sight is covered and their suffering um, tormented punishment mm -hmm. and, and there is uh, and there is the same uh, and there are some of you who say we believe in Allah and the last days and yet um, are not true believers they seek the um, they seek to de um, deceive Allah and the believers, they seek to deceive Allah and the believers. They seek to deceive Allah. They seek and the, to deceive Allah and, and the, the believers. believers and yeah. yet they only deceive themselves, yeah. but um, they only fail to um, to perceive it. Yeah. Last chapter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, there is uh, there is sickness in their heart, and Allah only lets them sickness increase. They will um, suffer painfully, the, um, painfully, painful punishment of their lives. So, what what's you, your point? The point is, that's declaring who God is in this revelation. Any, your, book not, may, any, your book may say the same. Yes. But to, be, to give it a fair trial, you must put both of them on the table. Because if you're the, the whole thing of this, why we're here in the first place is to seek truth, truth yes. and knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. So, any um, any sort of logical man intelligent man would weigh the options out if there's several options and go okay let's see one can which one can be refuted yeah which one has contradictions which one's been written by man or written by god let's weigh it all up on the table okay, cool. and in then make your decision in accordance to the verse that you pulled up yes hindu texts can say the same thing christian texts can say the same thing yes they they all, all of all um, theological can, text says can we, can that, we that get disbelievers it? can we get it i don't need to get it that this of course all, you have to it's a, it's a theological text. It, it, it's only reasonable yeah. to, um, to understand that a theological text will say if you disbelieve, obviously you are with those who are punished. Uh, um, Lo uh, like you said earlier, lots of so, people believe and they say, yeah, I'm not yes. one So why does this pro point prove that um, Islam is true? Because this one hasn't been refuted and it has no contradictions in it. I mean, the, 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 the people, the Quran itself tells you that Mah um, Muhammad, um, we've heard these fables before. They are fables of the past. So they've heard certain things, certain philosophies that Quran has given them before, i.e. the Jews um, um, hearing, um, knowing that um, if you've killed um, one person, it's as if you killed all nation. Because it's found in the Talmud, or the seven sleepers, it's found in the, it's, it's, it's found in the um, Christian history. We or, believe that the original scriptures so, have come down to so the prophets and those people. What makes Islam time, very, very different? What makes Islam scriptures? different? That's my question. It's the fact that it's, it's been preserved. Preserved Whereas in what the way? The others haven't. Islam has never, listen, since Revelation, Islam, Islam has never been like, corrupted or changed. Whereas yes, it has. Um, um, 
Omar, Omar. Not the original message. Yes, it, yes, the it has. Me no, it has. Um, Aisha herself narrates that it used to be the the um, ten breast suckling verses. Sorry, the camera is so, there, sir. So. Um, I um anyone puts their camera there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Aisha narrates that there used to be the ten breast suckling verses in the Quran. They got abrogated to the five breast suckling verses in the Quran. The, those um those verses were in the Quran, and the, um um then the prophet died, but we don't find anyone. Well. Give me one sec. Yeah, sure. Hey, where's my phone? Hey, where's my phone, bro? Someone. Double check. I'll do it all the time. Bro, I'm gonna have to leave the conversation there, bro, because I need to find my phone. Listen, we'll do it another time. But anyway, thank you. God bless you, man. Yeah. God bless you. Why are you finding fun? But here you have it, guys. The first guy we tried to like hold a conversation with him. Um, he was saying about he gave us the condition of how to get to Jannah without um, without um, being a Muslim. If you're a disbeliever, um, how to get to Jannah? He gave us two scenarios. Well, for you to have never received um, the Deen, never received Dawah, and to uh, for you to have great good deeds. And I gave him multiple scenarios. I kept asking the questions. He doesn't he doesn't know where to go with it, and he's just having to do um, uh, jumping jacks. Essentially. His points breaks when I am a believe I'm, I'm a monotheist that doesn't believe that doesn't know Islam, but has great good deeds. That means I get to heaven in accordance to him. And a, a woman, I believe, she was talk, she was asking in, in regards to uh, I can't remember, man. There's a lot of conversation today, guys. You know, um, I can't really like go into like uh, summarizing it. You know, I, I did have a little panic attack there because. I didn't know where my phone up was, but you know what? So you're writing for me, what are you doing? You think, what the hell is that? Yeah, God, guys, this is, this is, this is it, man, you know. Well, we thank the Lord, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen.